Would this be a concealed carry option if you had no other choice, which there are plenty of other choices out there, but it's better than a sharp stick, I suppose. So we'll look at some of the uh, possible applications of this thing. This thing's about as simple as it gets. All you gotta do is pull out the magazine, which is not a simple push button like you'll have on most pistols. You gotta pull this little tab back, grab the little, there's a lip there you can see. Get that, pull it out. Load your five rounds, set that to the side, cock the piece, and it's ready to go. Now, obviously it's not loaded. You'll see in fact that it is a striker fire. So you're gonna have the same trigger pull each time. And uh, that's about it, really. The safety is very rudimentary. It's just a uh, trigger block right there, so it's unsafe. Trigger don't move. Take it off, safe. You can pull the trigger. And of course, you can see right there, sent the firing pin forward. And then very simply, it would cycle back, reset the firing pin, and you're ready for the next round. And as for the sights right there, they're just fixed in sights. You can see their groove in the rear and the front. Well, I can hear you now. What the heck is a 25 auto? Well, it's this little thing right here. Now, if you'll do a comparison, it's not much more than a 22 long rifle now, is it? And if we stand it up next to another intermediate cartridge, the nine millimeter, it's about half the size, isn't it? So why would you go with a 25 auto? It doesn't look like it's got much to it, really. And on top of it, the projectile itself is only 50 grains, so there's not much there. I can't imagine that this thing has much in the way of velocity. I don't have a chronograph, I don't really care. But we're gonna see how it produces on the range anyway. But why would you do this when you got so much other stuff available to you? Well, 25 Auto's actually been around for a little while, and these small light charge cartridges were actually fairly popular back in the day, and the name of the game was small. So you wanted to have a small pocket pistol, something that you could easily conceal. Women especially, this would be great for women to conceal because it's so small. And you could just quickly produce it if a threat were to present itself, and then there you go, you have a means of defense. It's not so much the power aspect of it that I guess would be important, it's the fact that it's available to you. It's a very, very cheap option. This pistol actually came around at the high dollar cost of $15, so yeah. But anyway, it's better than a sharp stick if you're in a predicament, if pretty much you have nothing else, if your state, province, territory, whatever disallows you from having anything better. Or if you're on that much of a budget that you can't afford anything better, well, something's better than nothing, right? So, yeah, we'll put it through its paces real quick. So the biggest plus about this thing is concealability. So check this out. No imprint whatsoever, but there she is right in the pocket. You'd never even know it was there because it's just so darn small. So that's a huge plus for this pistol. Your phone's gonna imprint more than that, so that's a good advantage for this little guy. 